The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! I don't care for that. Oh, okay. I don't care I'll, for I'll, that. I'll shut it off. I'll shut it off. Yeah. In All fact, right. uh, <clears throat> in fact, from now on, when you talk to me, I would appreciate it if you'd text with me first and then clear it. <laughs> Okay, that's all I wanted to do. That wasn't a joke. (laughs) I am dead fucking serious. (laughs) I don't want to hear your voice unless my phone buzzes first. Okay, that's fine. And also, uh, another excellent cynic comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. He is the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. You're the only person I hate more than Aaron Rodgers. That's bad. Mm -hmm. You said last week that that you wouldn't want Aaron Rodgers to host this show. You yeah, that's ra- still true. You should, but you would much rather have me. Uh, he never said I that. didn't say I wanted you. All, yeah. I like to think that this show would be that's better like, off just on cruise control by itself. Yeah. <laughs> just nothing? Just nothing. Just, just like me which, and Derek over here just answering questions that aren't being asked. <laughs> which, which ball would you rather lose? Your left one <laughs> or your right one? <laughs> oh, Okay. Uh, But anyways, uh, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we would like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time they're directed towards me. Also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We got playoffs to go over, man. The most exciting week in football ever. It was excellent. Uh, before we do that, I don't know. I think the most exciting week in football ever was the second debut of the XFL. <laughs> okay. I mean, geez. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, but before we get into the sports, because we got a lot of it, uh, as usual, you know, the, the normal stuff. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to get on to our week, week recap where we can talk about all the things that we did over the last week. So, uh, Derek. What? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Burn! Shit. That is hotter than that talking <laughs> shit. Oh, man. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was really, really hot. All right. Okay. Jeremy, how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> and when he says it's hot and that it burns, he means he gave her chlamydia. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Now she gets to feel dirty. her razor blades when I piss. That's great. Yeah. All right. That's uh, it? No, what you do? That's how it works. Uh, I, I did a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually got to uh, watch Aaron Rodgers fucking get eliminated from the goddamn playoffs. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm so happy. Okay, before you go on with the rest of your week, can I ask uh, Jeremy a question? I'm asking permission. Okay. <sighs> I guess. Okay. Fuck. So, in your opinion, if do you think it would be better or worse if, if the uh, Packers wanted to be hanging out with Derek? Like, how much would it suck if the Packers won? Wouldn't bother me at all. That wouldn't. I, yeah, my mood is not really depicted by others. <laughs> okay. I, I live life, man. I, I'm fucking loosey goosey, man. I just live life the way I want to, brother. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Derek, continue. All yeah, right, because so, I'm a fucking hippie that way. Okay. I had a show Saturday in okay. Ellenwood, Kansas. Yeah. Really, co- I know this sounds weird because I was in Ellenwood, fucking Kansas. Yeah. I bet it went great. It went pretty well, and yeah. it was a really cool venue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. The venue is called the Wolf Hotel. It was built like in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Man, was this badass? <laughs> <laughs> they uh, ended up like buying other, I guess, parts of around it. So like the place I did the show in, they had some tables set up, but then one wall was a bank vault because it used to be a bank. Part of it did. Mm-hmm. Sick. And then that's un- where they put the really unruly guests <laughs> yeah. at the hotel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's where Al Capone stayed. Right. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and then down underneath, I guess throughout that 
stretch of Main Street, they had tunnels. Oh, yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah, I have heard about this. Really? Yeah. So they had tunnels, and like you went downstairs into the bar, to the bar. Yeah. And the show was upstairs. Downstairs was the bar. You went downstairs, and you could actually access the tunnels from down there, and they're like lit up. I guess there used to be shops and stuff down there. What? Yes. And uh, I thought, man, that's kind of cool. And then we're, I'm standing out front with Mike Baldwin, which was the comic that I was doing right. the show with, and he's out smoking, and I glance down at this manhole cover, and you can see light coming out of it. No, and I'm no like, shit. holy fucking shit. And there's a couple little holes, and I look down, and I'm like, there's a fucking tunnels right there. Like it's That's crazy. It was fucking cool. <clears throat> and then they had some really creepy mannequins just randomly placed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that was odd. Yeah. Uh, the underground tunnels used to be for the railroad, right? right. No, no. Uh, subway. Oh. Yeah. The underground <laughs> subway. Yeah, the okay. underground subway. Yeah, that's when they were trafficking the Chinese to free them. So okay, they didn't have gotcha. to build the Oh, I thought you meant the, that way they didn't have to build the underground railroad. That's how they traffic Jared Fogel out <laughs> of the states where he's wanted. <laughs> No, but uh, and then yesterday I actually went to my first NBA game. Oh, that was your first one. I've never been to an NBA game. I didn't know that. So I got to go watch the Bulls uh, kick some ass and then end up squeaking out by one. Nice. Kind of sad. DeMar DeRozan didn't play, which you don't know who that is and don't care. I know. Hmm. Uh, it was Zach Levine's return, and my boy uh, Io DeSumo got to start because there's some injuries, and he had a career high with 24 points, I believe, Five boards and eight assists. Mm -hmm. Pretty good game. Okay. And then uh, I was I felt like that commercial where they talk about you turn into your dad over parking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we were trying to find where the fuck to park. And we I ended up buying it on StubHub. I was like, eh, fuck it. I'll just buy a parking pass on StubHub for eight bucks. I bought it. I had to wait for the guy to transfer it to me. Usually anytime <laughs> I buy anything off of StubHub, it's instant. They have it. I had to wait, and I'm like, 10 minutes go by, and I'm just sitting in this fucking, on the side of the road, and I'm like, fuck it. Let's just go somewhere else and find somewhere else to park. Oh, wow. So we thought we were by this parking garage. The guy's like, yeah, it's just $10 if you want to park here. We walked maybe 35 feet to the stairs. Oh, wow. Walked up this one flight of stairs, went straight across the street to the bank of the, goddamn, the Paycom Center. Uh, walked in, went through the metal detectors, went straight right, and all the way down, and that's where our seats were. Like, oh, I literally wow. have walked, <clears throat> parking at Walmart to, to the back of the store yeah. was l more of a walk. You are, you walked less than Spike Lee before he got kicked out. Of you spent a lot of time in yeah. tunnels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> you, right. You did. You got the VIP treatment there. This was absolutely. It was, it was like Tunnel Tuesday, only it was on Monday. You're right. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I was really surprised with was uh, how – inexpensive everything was there really for a sporting event really like you go to wrigley or even you go to kaufman it's 12 bucks for a beer or 10 bucks for a beer mm -hmm. think so of, you go to riverfront <laughs> yeah it, you, right it was cheaper in riverfront <laughs> really it was like seven dollars I, I think it. it was eight bucks for a uh, call whiskey it was seven dollars for a beer my buddy got uh nachos and a giant soda for like 11 bucks wow Jeez. So it was just everything just seemed like it was pretty inexpensive, which I'm not used to in yeah. those type of venues. So yeah. I really enjoyed it. I would completely go back. I had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot smaller than I thought the arena was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. But I had a blast. So if any, if you guys haven't been, I would tell you to fucking go because it was it was really cool. I enjoyed it. Only, only in Oklahoma City, though, right? The, the weird thing, you know what they did there? What? That I've never, ever, ever had happen at a sporting event? What? They all fucked each other. <laughs> And they were related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did a, I forget what the fucking proper term is because I'm not religious really. They did a prayer before the national anthem. Really? They uh. had a guy come out and lead prayers to Lord Baby Jesus. <laughs> Eight pound, seven ounce, don't even know word yet. <laughs> we're in the Bible was, belt, Was it Will Ferrell? <clears throat> no. No, no, it was not. It was some fucking chaplain or some shit yeah. but uh yeah he come out and and they did that first like everybody stood everybody was quiet and they they did that and i'm like that's <clears throat> weird well yeah. okay dude i don't know how to break this to you but you joined a cult <laughs> <laughs> I, that may have been what just happened yeah and that's why you're wanting everybody to go to an nba yeah, that's yeah. right you're passing you're it off fucking on them. trying to get people to join the cult that's right all right there's a girl i want to date there <laughs> what the fuck's your problem oh <laughs> uh, shit well, no, oh. it was. It was. I had. I had a great time. Okay. So all right, and I got Whataburger. That yeah, nice. that's a huge plus. You can get the onion burgers. 
No, they, it was like 11 o'clock on the way back. So ah, nah, I, nah. I don't think old Tucker's was... I would have fucking totally went to Tucker's. No. Well, I had a... Uh, I had an interesting week. I have I have forgot to give a shout out to somebody for like the last three to four weeks in a row. Yeah, happy birthday uh, to your mom. No, <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, her birthday. This Derek told her real good this week. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Boom, yeah, damn. Yeah, he did twice, twice, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. And by motherfucker, I'm talking to Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, again. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Everybody's on fire tonight. <laughs> No, but it was uh, actually it was my it was my my mom's birthday this last weekend, and then it was uh, my step uh, stepdad's birthday the week oh, before. Really? That's your mom's birthday. Yes, yeah, it, it really was. Oh, I okay. actually told her happy birthday. Uh, did you tell her something like like what you told my stepdad on his birthday? No, I can't. What did exactly did you tell my parents? Well, what did I tell your stepdad <laughs> on his birthday? I don't remember. Let me look. It uh, it uh, he because he told me about it after you texted him. And did I was, he? Oh yeah, of course he did. Um, he's yeah, he's not gonna lighten up on any of that uh, bullshit. Let's see, what's it say? It said, "Happy birthday, Mark! So glad to and lucky to call you my friend after all these years. I hope you have a wonderful day far away from Scotty." <laughs> <laughs> that was what I told his dad yeah. on yeah. his stepdad on his. I'm birthday. gonna be honest with you. I'm tearing up a little bit <laughs> over that. That is that yeah. is uh, very heartfelt. Yeah. Ah, damn. Thanks, man. I couldn't <laughs> imagine a better fucking birthday present. Yeah. yeah. I know. That's um, my go to text now for birthdays. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they don't know Scott. Even if they don't know Scott. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my mom in Illinois. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day far away from Scotty. She's I, heard of him. I, I <laughs> tell Derek all the time, I was like, I, I envy those who haven't met you. Like, that should, needs to be the, the text message that yeah. he sends people. But anyways, uh, I, I've been meaning to give a shout out to this uh, this person over the last uh, several weeks. I was also in a fantasy football league with other people. It was uh, a bunch of Australian people. You should stay there. Uh, but, no, but it was NFL. It was like an NFL football. And they got really into it. I was extremely impressed. And I got my ass kicked in the championship game by i want to say he's like 13 or 14 years old i could be wrong so yeah. i apologize that um, wouldn't surprise me for you to get your ass kicked yeah. by an early teenager yeah but ted over in uh, in uh, melbourne australia beat my ass congratulations you need to buy yourself a belt that's what you need his to do. his name is ted yes a 13 or 14 year old named ted not teddy they're australians man they're different yeah i guess yeah i like that actually but get yourself a ted. belt uh make mm-hmm. sure you you wave it around and his piss best off your friend's friends probably like it. woodrow probably yeah no steve um, but on top Damn, of that, good one, Scotty. Uh, I did, I did actually have a pretty decent week. I started watching this like kind of a documentary thing on Netflix. It's, uh, it's called the movies that made us. Have it's you seen really, any of those? Not really a documentary. No, it's yeah. kind of like the behind the scenes of like movies that were really important. Uh, yeah. you know, I watched then. the back to the future one. Uh, I started watching that one. I haven't got through that, one, but I, you kind of have to skip around because they have some that you really don't want to fucking watch like dirty dancing. Get fucked. I don't want to watch that I shit. I don't care about that. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Uh, but they have, so you would put baby in the corner. Yeah. That's yeah. a famous. Which one was footloose? Scotty. The one okay. where they made dancing illegal. Yes. Yeah, that ended up coming true there for a while in 2020. <laughs> it did. <laughs> we, we actually kind of lived footloose. We have lived you, footloose and idiocracy now. <laughs> that, yep. Have you ever seen the uh, musicless music videos on YouTube? No. no. Uh, they take the – there's a famous scene, and it's so fucking pointless where – Kevin Bacon in Footloose just has to get his aggression out. So he goes to like this abandoned factory and he like turns his music up in his car really loud and he just dances really aggressively. And so they have that video, but they take the music out. <laughs> and so he's just running around like a fucking lunatic because that's how it would be. Because I don't care how loud your car stereo is, it's not getting inside the fucking factory. I wish they actually just put in sound effects too. Like if he yeah. oh, knocks yeah. a ladder down, like. Oh, <laughs> oh they, they yeah. add that. There's, there's one of, of Elvis where he's, I think it's uh, I've one, seen one of his that movies. One. I've seen that but one. Not only do they take out the actual music but they make it sound like you know when people who don't know how to play guitar and they just strum and it i've got a beach boys one like that yeah but he's also twisting around so you hear his shoes squeaking yeah it's (laughs) fucking great i gotta show you the beach boys i think uh i get around or whatever yeah Yeah. i gotta show you that it's hilarious anyways uh i watched one that actually meant a lot to me watch it now no yeah Um, no you tell (laughs) your story yeah 
Uh, I was watching the one on Die Hard, and there was actually a really cool scene. And one of the most famous scenes from Die Hard, I didn't know this behind the scenes, but uh, the guy that plays Hans Gruber, I don't know the actor's name. He's very famous. He passed away. Alan right? Rickman. Yes. Alan yeah, Rickman. Yeah. Cameron McLean. Yeah, that guy. Severus Snape, Scotty. Severus Snape. Yeah, that guy. Um, so whenever he was falling out of the building at the very end of the movie. Yeah, that was real. Um, uh, let, me t- <laughs> let, me, let me tell the story. That's how he died. <laughs> so- <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> he's over a blue screen that's below him in a big bag to obviously catch his fall and uh, all of the, everything's behind him computer animated, but he's 40 feet high. He's, he's fairly up there yeah. and uh, he's being held on by a rope, not the watch that he pulls off. Uh, but it was a stunt man or a stunt coordinator that was holding the rope to secure him. And there is a stunt director that told Regman or whatever his name Rick, is Rickman Rickman that uh, they're going to drop him on three. He went up to the stunt coordinator holding the rope and said, drop him on one. <laughs> right, because there's so genuine surprise the, on yes, his face when that watch lets go. That actor uh, was actually, fa- he was not, that was his first like really big movie. He was over in, in the UK on like their Broadway doing kind of stuck up nose shows and shit like that. So that was the very first Was that time. before Robin Hood? Prince of Thieves? I believe so. And if I'm... It, I'm yeah, I'm, yeah, it would have been. That would have been, been 87. Yeah, 80s. Prince of Thieves would have been 90. 90s. Men of Tights is 90s. the only real Robin That's Hood. exactly sure right. Is. Damn right. Dave Chappelle, that was his first break, too. Uh, but anyways, I thought it was absolutely hysterical. But yeah, that look on his face whenever he's falling is legitimate. It, yeah. he, he was scared shitless for that. So, And then uh, to top off my week, uh, Meatloaf died. So everybody needs to be happy about that. Meatloaf died. Louis Anderson died. Yeah, that Louis. Was that was a sad one. I was I was not uh, happy about Louis Anderson. Some some guy named Al? Uh, Al I don't know. I saw it in the obituaries. Too. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. <laughs> he's dead, though. Last he's name, <laughs> Kaholic. You know what? It doesn't matter what his fucking last name is. He's just as dead as those other guys, That's and he deserves true. recognition. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, fine. How was your week over there, Jeremy? Well, I read the obituaries. <laughs> um, <laughs> loved every second of it. Uh, I think Snoop calls them the obituaries. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I got to work a lot of overtime this week. Yeah. Uh, we're having a COVID outbreak at work. Mm. I I got tested today. Don't have it. I can't believe I haven't got it. I mean, okay, I've I've gotten vaxxed and boosted, but other than that, I don't social distance. I don't wear masks. I don't. I haven't taken any of the precautions that most people who don't get it do. <laughs> yeah, I, you don't even I, wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Fuck not, no, no, I don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. Why would I? Right. That's wasting water. I love the environment. <laughs> yeah, you hold that guy's dick, tell him to flush I it, do. and then you just walk right out of the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, dude, get off my lap. <laughs> Finish wiping me up, and let's go. <laughs> High five. <laughs> so anyhow, I got to do that, and I've been avoiding the COVID uh, somehow. Um, and then, let's see, on Saturday afternoon, okay, you, you know how when you go to jerk off and you get too much lotion on your hand? <laughs> sure. Right? Okay, well, I took down my outdoor Christmas lights. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's... I was, it's two separate things here. <laughs> okay. One's got nothing to do with the other. Okay. I just wanted to know if you guys knew <laughs> that feeling of getting too much lotion. <laughs> But I also took down my my Christmas lights. You remember outside. when you were like in high school and shit, and people were like, "Do you masturbate?" And you're like, "Fuck no, fuck, no, no, no I don't way, do that. no way." And then like now, when you're forty, you're like, "Dude, have you fucking seen this bitch?" Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like you don't even wait for people to ask if you jerk off. Yeah, I, I lead off conversations that way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Just jerked off twice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I understand if you don't want to shake my hand. I'm starting to get a little shocked. But you're gonna. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to get a little shocked by all these like famous, uh, somewhat famous TikTok people that are famous on TikTok for stuff other than being attractive, you know? They, you mean they, like us? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're huge. Yeah, we're yeah, huge. We're TikTok famous. But one thing we're not doing is starting our own OnlyFans for like porn. I, I follow a couple people. One of them I Speak found for out for yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> I knew it was I'm coming. doing it with just fans. <laughs> I know. Follow me at too much lotion. <laughs> <laughs> and me at, at OnlyFans. Because it's only fans. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna see any dick. Just, <laughs> just fans. fans. I yeah. just got videos of fans <laughs> yeah. showing their dicks. Right. Uh but no, I'm I'm shocked. I found like two people that I follow and I'm just like, holy shit. Do I want to pay 10 bucks to see him naked? No. 
So, anyway. and do you want to explain that credit card charge to your <laughs> wife? <laughs> What is OnlyFans? <laughs> oh, God, it's this new sports apparel website. It's only for fans. Yeah, I mean, God, I just got this sweet Chiefs hat. Because <laughs> I'm such a fan. For I'm a, such a big fan that they started charging me money to be a fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a membership uh, fee. I got it for 10 bucks. Right. Anyways, c- continue, Jeremy. I apologize. Um, That was pretty much it. <laughs> you took down your Christmas took lights? Took down my outdoor Christmas lights and, and worked and watched a lot of football. Did you watch the most recent episode of um, The Curse of Oak Island? I did, yes. Are you shocked by what they didn't find? I, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I, am, are, I, I assume you're talking about the treasure? <laughs> yes. Or anything of, of note oh I wait sw- spoiler alert guys <laughs> i swear to god why do you still watch it <laughs> i don't fucking know did either of you guys check out peacemaker i, I did i did not i you watched like them all i love it it's fucking great and i fucking love it <laughs> he's just such a schmuck i know it's fucking great i really 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 like it i i was going Eagly. to yeah. His sidekick is the actual eagle that he's named Eagly. <laughs> That's creative. It sure is. I really kind of like Vigilante, too. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, that's not something that your best friends are going to do. No. They're, they're not your best friends. No That spoilers. same character shows up in one of the seasons of Arrow. Yeah. A lot different guy. <laughs> not near as funny as that. I think Scotty would be like Vigilante, just not badass. Yeah. I'd be badass. Yeah, uh, vigilante is kills anybody who commits a crime, whether it be murder or jaywalking. He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you break the law, you're dead, <laughs> as it should be. Uh huh. Um. All right. That's it. That's all you got. Nothing else fun. I, Any oh, of you? New Ozark started. I started. Yeah, well, I got the first I, three I, episodes I saw, down. I can't do it though. I can't fucking do. It. I got to wait to get everything over because this is the last season. Oh, right? Ozark came back. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Fuck me right in the fucking ass. <laughs> Why <Yeah>. am I here? <laughs> right. But this is the Keep last. Keep laughing, asshole. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last uh, season, if I remember it's right. It's the first half of the last season. Okay. The All last right. season's 14 episodes. So they're doing this a Walking seven. Dead style. I guess. Hopefully That's they don't end it that way. But I, I I can't do it. I'm waiting for everything to come out, and then I'll binge watch the whole fucking thing. That's the way it needs to be done. This waiting week by week shit. I'm already You should binge pissed. watch it on fucking Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's no. the best day to binge watch it. No, it sure I, is. Usually yeah. around the hours of like 6 p.m. to about midnight. No, uh-huh. I got I got prior engagements with two uh, two very uh, loving people that really love me. 6 to 12. It's well, like a dogs? reverse curveball. No, just, just whenever there's not a camera rolling. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's our week week recap. Uh, we got a lot of sports to get uh, get through today. But before we do that, I want to say thank you to our sponsor. Just me, though. I, I just want to say thank you to Manscaped.com mm. uh, for everything that you do and provide for me. I don't know about these other guys, but uh, I am. Well, no, here, I'll check it out. Look. Yeah, no. <laughs> I am well-maintained, well-groomed, and no nose hairs. Uh, again, this week, uh, I'm thinking about doing my head. I'm thinking about doing it again. Oh, please shave your head. Oh, yeah, buddy. I and did your, it once. And, and your face. <clears throat> and my eyebrows. And all of it. And the funny thing is, if I did, I wouldn't cut myself at all. It'd be perfectly fine. Here's prove the it. thing. I right. think we need to prove this. <laughs> I realize that we haven't talked this through or cleared this, but for every listener who donates $100 to us... <laughs> Uh, you get to take one swipe at Scotty's head with the Manscaped trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> or a weed whacker. Pay your own travel expenses, yeah. but we'll give you his address, no problem. <laughs> or a weed whacker. Uh, we yes. will provide the weed whacker. Too. Yes, and we're not talking the, the trimmer. We're talking, I'll get my actual string trimmer, <laughs> yeah. my weed eater. Yeah, because you wouldn't harm me with, uh, with the weed whacker or the lawnmower 4.0. They would with my fucking gas-powered string trimmer, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I really want. Yeah, I'd and like my Craftsman some- lawnmower. Mm-hmm. You know, some people pierce their ears. I'd like to see your head pierced. That's, <laughs> that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, go on with the manscape. I like it on a this. nice pike. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Sure. Uh, but anyways, love to see you impaled. Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to keep uh, men groomed and maybe maybe women. You know, it they, will work on women. It'll I, cut their nose hairs. I've been told. I've been told that it mm-hmm. has. Um, you know, every once in a while, I get one of those furry bitches that just really need to have some sure. landscape products. You know what I'm saying? 
prickly porcupine down there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't want the porcupine perspective. <laughs> they need some right. fucking she shears. <laughs> that's right. Some she shears. They need to. They need to work that's on right. that. You know, they I, need to change the name to Human's. I'll be honest with you guys. The hedge clipper. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use the shears this weekend. That's the uh, fingernails because. Uh, turns out that's why I was using so much lotion. I was getting a lot of scratching going on. Turns out I just needed to cut my nails. Oh. Had nothing to do with friction going on. I'll be goddamn. I thought I just had rough hands, you know, because I'm a real man. Looks yeah. like your penis got in a knife fight. It, it sure does. <laughs> yeah. And lost. <laughs> Which is strange because it typically does not lose knife fights. <laughs> yeah, it's Puerto Rican. That's it, right. Very. <laughs> Good God. It eats tamales. <laughs> <laughs> Year round. Year round, yes. With the husk on. Right. Uh, Hit flamenco dances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, but they also do have some other excellent products. They do now have a body wash that they just came out yeah. with. They have the crop cleanser as well. Um, they just make all kinds of really excellent products that you need to check out at Manscaped. Sure do. Manscaped.com. Give them, a, give them a look-see. They're a good company. They've been good to us. They have been good to us. That's uh, that's for certain. Um, but uh, we want to thank them. Uh, if you guys do have anything you want to look into, go to Manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES for anything that you purchase. You get 20% off and free shipping, and that helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're reading every single commercial word for word. And mm-hmm. That's very important. It they, sure is. They're they sticklers. They are oh. sticklers for that it's all the other podcasts they they make them read it word for word because they can't come up with shit <laughs> it's really fucked up that they have written everything that we just said mm-hmm. including about the lotion they wrote that out here <laughs> yeah. on the script that was really fucked up of them it's amazing i don't know who's yeah, writing their yeah, scripts well, but he's a good guy we should get him to host the podcast <laughs> slogan <laughs> manscaped yeah because no. gillette can suck our You're dicks damn right <laughs> oh, that's right Anyways, okay. Well, thank you to them. We got to get moving on to some sports. I want to start this week off. We are recording this Tuesday evening, and it has come through, at least at this point, that Barry Bonds will not make the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. That Was this his last chance? Yep. Yep. Him nice. or Clemens. Clemens, too. That is a win for baseball. They are both such dicks. I, I, we talked briefly about this last episode. We, mm-hmm. we briefly because we weren't sure that it was going to happen. And I, I have to say, I don't necessarily know. I may have actually changed my mind on what I really think. I think that Barry Bonds before performance enhancing drugs could have been a hall of fame. Oh, he would have been a for sure first ballot hall of fame. Same, same thing same with Clemens. with Clemens. And so I, I still do not necessarily know if I want, listen, they didn't commit the, the, only crime in baseball that literally says you cannot be in the Hall of Fame for life. The only one that that is written under is the Pete Rose rule. You yeah. can't bet on baseball. Well, it doesn't even say that, Scotty. Okay, yeah, you know word for word what it says. Yes, I'm I not do. here to talk about that. But <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about performance-enhancing drugs. It doesn't say anything about any of that. I would be okay if they had their own wing necessarily because i think there there probably are some people that are in the hall of fame that just didn't get fucking caught what if they did like like kansas city did and like kansas city has the negro leagues hall of fame which yeah. is really cool it is an awesome uh yeah, yeah, they, why don't they just have a steroids hall of yeah, fame yeah exactly a segregated yeah, you segregate them a little bit put it in some second just class piece of shit city <laughs> some really you know beefed what I mean? up building yeah, like wichita well, kansas like st louis nah. put it right in st louis <laughs> you would and have that nobody it's fucking boy what else are you gonna do it's like, yeah, let's go to the steroid Hall of Fame. Mark McGuire statues out front, and <laughs> Barry Bonds. Fucking go check that out. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think when it comes to the Hall of Fame voters, they're as much about not only are they about the numbers and and how they, it's it's as much about how they played the game, sure, and the integrity that they played the game, and you know, it's I I don't know how to describe it because because there are some were some dirty bastards who were in. Ty Cobb, who are yes. yeah, Cobb is Jesus Christ, <laughs> yeah. Um, but he he never cheated. He just played. Like Some people asshole. would just say yeah. he, dirty. You dirty. can be an asshole and still have integrity. I guess he still played the game with integrity. Played hard. Spikes up. Yeah. Spikes up. They knew what they were fucking getting into. Right. I I I don't know. I I, I still do kind of have this reserve because I I cannot explain. Other, I mean, other than performing enhancing drugs, what saved baseball in the nineties? It was those fuckers. It was oh, the home. It was, it was the home run races. That was what saved Cal Ripken. baseball and Cal Ripken Jr. 
But, I mean, at the same time, those were what people wanted to watch with those amazing moments and those huge, huge bombs. Yes. They were hitting 500-foot home runs. I think what really brought baseball back was probably Benny Agbayani. That was Absolutely. A, uh, yeah. Yeah, he had a birthday. Those four fucking ago. seasons <laughs> yeah. were magic. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck him. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so so is anybody's vote change? If they had their own wing, would you be okay? In all seriousness, if they had their own wing in the Hall of Fame that said these fuckers cheated, but some of the shit that they did is amazing. Barry yeah. Bonds hitting a home run record and getting walked as many times as he did is still fucking crazy. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's a hypothetical that I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we'll get faced with. How about after they die? Nope. Okay. Nope. That, don't let. It, I I would just. I uh, maybe their own wing, but don't let them in in any other circumstance. Because, like I was saying, I think I said before, if you let Bonds in, you got to go back and fucking everybody McGuire, and you yeah. got you so, got to so. open those floodgates again. Yep. So, so yeah, yep. Jeremy, what? <laughs> if they had their own wing, would you want them? Um, I it would have to be its own separate building. I okay. wouldn't even. I would have it be its own detached building in Buffalo. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you have to hitchhike from Cooperstown. You can't drive directly to Buffalo. It's outside of Buffalo. It's not a convenient location. <laughs> no, don't put it in Buffalo. Put it in Delaware. No, no Delaware's that's where a good awesome. thing. That's where oh. they should move the regular Hall of Fame to. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Fair all enough. of the Hall of Fames. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the uh, Hip Hop Hall of Fame is still there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Gangster Rap gangster, Hall of gangster Fame. Gangster Rap. Oh, hip -hop. For life, Sorry, man. My bad. My bad. That ain't leaving. Honky cracker motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, fine. White bread, chicken shit. <laughs> okay. A gallon um, of milk looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Crack ass. To <laughs> this never stops. Fucking Charmin over here. Like a fucking tub of sour cream sitting there. Captain Cool Whip motherfucker. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but moving on. Are we spelling on. Captain with a K? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we're moving on to the NFL. We had it questionably one of the uh, well, we'll get to the one of the, that question in real shit or horseshit, but questionably one of the greatest uh, weekends of playoff football or football in history. Um, and we'll get to the games, but the first thing breaking news in the day that we are recording, Sean Payton has decided that he is stepping away from the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. I can't say I blame the guy. Is he related to Gary Payton? Yeah, oh yeah. That's what I thought. Second cousin. Have Love. you seen his defense? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, Bounty Gate. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just playing hard. Uh, can you can you question him on this? He's going into it. Uh, if he goes back to New Orleans, he's rebuilding that team from the ground up, which he had to. I don't think he wants to do that. I don't no. think he wants to do it either. I think he, he's been a, the head coach since two thousand and six. Yeah. So I think maybe he just wants to step the fuck away for a while. I, I know that people are like, oh, like I'm on the Bears pages and stuff, and I'm like, oh, here, which is good. It's gonna happen. He's from Chicago. It's gonna happen. And I'm like, no, it's. I don't think it is. I think he's gonna end up. I heard that he was gonna. Uh, Fox is recruiting him. I was getting ready to say. I think he'd be a great sport an analyst. Absolutely, he'd be, he'd be excellent. I, he I may don't want to think, step away completely. I don't think people quite realize just how mentally draining. It is. Yeah. And physically draining it is. What a toll it takes on you to coach a team for a year, let alone, what, fucking 15, 16 years? Yeah. Well, yeah, like when, they when, hear, he when they hear stories about Urban Meyer, you think, uh, you, you know, just after the game, go to strip club. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it I takes, and that's how well right. it Right, that's why we're not football out. coaches. I guess technically yeah, you got to subtract <laughs> a year for, for Sean Payton. <laughs> yeah. Um, even though he was probably pulling all the strings behind the scenes. Right. But, um, but, no, it's, you know, Jimmy Johnson – figured out that fuck it's way less stress sitting in the goddamn studio just analyzing shit nobody's expecting anything of me i don't got to put up with a bunch of bullshit yeah i can just be and make more money just as much money if not more money yeah. doing it can you imagine us doing the show for that kind of money i can't I can imagine, imagine me and derek doing it but <laughs> thanks guys you appreciate it <sighs> fuck i'd do a donkey show if you pay me that. Fuck, yeah <laughs> For Jimmy Johnson money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't blame him one bit. I, I bet you he is going to be a Fox analyst in the foreseeable, foreseeable future. I wouldn't put it past him. Maybe he decides to come back. He's still somewhat younger than most of the coaches. Oh, yeah. Time. So he could come back, but I, I think he'll set out. Because you He's said he has, what, three? Three years. So yeah. if anybody wants him, they're going to have to give up some sort of compensation. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, draft picks, etc. Mm -hmm. So. 
Uh, Which move, that's a guy that would get. That's a coach that would get draft picks. Oh, he, like yeah, Gruden 100%, did yeah. back in the day. I think Gruden got draft. They got draft picks for Gruden. I think. I'm not uh, sure. Proven, proven winning coaches <clears throat> generally don't go cheap. They're yeah. That's going to cost you like a first and second or first and third, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but this kind of broke on social media over this last week before the playoffs happened. So apparently there is a famous meme of a guy that uh, is a Dallas Cowboy fan hanging on his girlfriend, looks sad as shit after they lose, and it says in the caption, it's like, rest in peace, the drywall in this guy's apartment. Yeah, RIP to all the drywall in this guy's apartment. It's so hilarious. it turns out that once that went viral, it turns out that that is actually his side chick and his girlfriend – Obviously saw the meme, and he was supposed to be on a guys-only trip to go to the game. Mm. That's his new chick now. Busted! <laughs> Get fucked. And she's probably got a couple of black eyes from the way they lost. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding her in some drywall. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so that was absolutely hysterical. Nothing makes me more happy than when Dallas loses, so there's that. Yeah, don't cheat. Yeah, that's don't, um, bad. <laughs> yeah, you... A lot of people think they ain't gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. Don't <laughs> don't fucking cheat. You're a dickhead if you do. Not I remember years ago they were filming a commercial for the comedy club and it was in the old location. Yeah, yeah, out here. And uh, when they were doing it, they were filming the crowd and they told the crowd, "You're gonna be on on film for the commercial." And I guess there was some guy that was in there with his side piece <laughs> and was on the commercial. <laughs> nice. And of course, his wife saw it. Yeah, way to go, buddy. That that's so fucked up because there's so many ways out of that. Because a, a comedy club, they will sit you with people you don't know that you didn't come with if, mm -hmm. if it's crowded in there that's true you can uh, just say she was with a different party but no but i guess if you got your arm around her or whatever yeah, yep that's exactly right yeah, and that's what i think happened oh good stuff all right uh <coughs> but moving on to the fun stuff the big stuff obviously we had the playoffs over this weekend and god damn it was great i'll i'll kick it off first with uh even though joe burrow gets sacked nine times the Bengals hold Derrick Henry to only 62 yards and still get the win. I didn't think he was going to come out and be explosive. Who? Henry. Henry. Oh, yeah, he's coming off of an injury. Yeah, I, right? said, I didn't think he was going to come out and be explosive, and I, I think I took the Bengals this game. We both did. Yeah. We both did. But the big – I mean, the big difference in the game of the turnovers. I mean, yeah, Burrow uh, threw for 350 yards, but he had one interception. Tannehill, 220, one touchdown, but three interceptions. He turned the ball over three times. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't win games like that. No. So most of the time, whoever wins a turnover turnover battle wins the game. Did you hear the story about the kicker for the Bengals? No. Um, so it was that that closing drive, the game winning drive, and uh, Scott Norwood. Uh, That's a joke. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was the guy that shanked it. What wide left? Yeah. 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 Um, I believe his last name's Carlson. I could be wrong. But Dan Carlson, I think. Uh, anyways, he's getting ready to go out onto the field, and that's the Raiders. Go ahead. After they uh, after they end up. Uh, getting close enough in field goal range as he's walking out to the field, he passes Burrow and goes, well, I guess we're going to the AFC Championship Oh, game. I did hear that, <laughs> it's yeah. It's like, way to go, buddy. I, um, I, I like the uh, Niners kicker a whole lot better, though. Why? Oh, well, we'll get to that in here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing with – with I I went 0 for 4 on picks for the playoff games this week. I went 3-1. and 1. And – I was this close to being a hundred percent. I mean, yeah, <laughs> all the you fucking still, games. You were still this close yes. to being a hundred percent. Yeah, it's Evan McPherson. I mean, a kid just name. a couple okay. of things go the other direction in each game, and I got them all right. I mean, it was this was the weirdest fucking week, the most closely competitive playoff stint in history i yeah. was actually excited to watch most of all those games i didn't, yes, get, I was I didn't get to watch all of them all the way through because i had that show saturday but i watched both games sunday i watched the fourth quarter of the niners game and then i watched like the first half of the cincinnati game yeah but i was actually excited to watch all of them i wasn't excited to watch a single fucking matchup in round one yeah i didn't care they got to get rid of that goddamn yeah. seven seed yes they do yep uh, but moving on to the next game, Tampa Bay cannot complete the comeback after a 70-yard pass to Cooper Cup that sets up the game-winning field goal. Again, last-second field goal wins the game. And they did. T Tampa Bay came roaring back. They had every chance to, to win that game, just stopping the Rams Matthew tried Stafford. To, the Rams tried to give that game away. They sure when, did. Cam Akers when, fumbled twice. <clears throat> yeah. When Cooper Cup fumbled at the end, toward the end of the third quarter, and I said, if they score a touchdown here before the quarter's up, this game is not over. Mm -hmm. And 
Sure. Yeah, there was they a whole did. other quarter to be played. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's there's no, no the, time on the clock. The thing Jim. is, no, that's the new rule. If Tom Brady doesn't score before the end of the third quarter, his game's Game over. over? <laughs> oh, I'll be you guys damn. didn't know that? No, no. I, I sure didn't. Fuck yeah, that, that's tacked on to that seventh playoff team rule. <laughs> <sighs> but he did. He gave it hell, man. Uh, Tom Brady, he had every shot. I mean, I, I think he played the second half amazingly, fourth quarter especially. Uh, Tampa Bay's defense just couldn't stop them. They end up going down and kicking the game-winning field goal. So kudos to the Rams. And didn't they keep so. fumble in the fourth quarter? They just kept fumbling back and forth to each other. Pretty much, oh. yeah. It was so fucked up. It and, was. And it's like I, I, I was sitting there going, motherfucker, he's going to do it again. Mm-hmm. It looked like Every it. fucking – he gets all the – he tied it up. Yeah. I mean, he tied the fucking game for when they were down – what were they down twenty eight to three? Yeah, twenty seven three, something like that. It, you know, he was reliving the uh, the twenty eight to three game I mean, against the Falcons. You know, uh, but yeah. So good luck, good luck to the Rams. I'm still surprised Tom, uh, Tom Brady didn't didn't come back and win that one. The Rams are winning the Super Bowl. I've been saying that, and uh, we'll get there. And fucking Matt Stafford, kudos to him kudos for to not him. for not folding. It, yeah, so many players would have went well. Fuck. It's Brady's magic again. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I can do about it. He he manned up, Seven, sacked up, and he fucking that was a great throw to cut. Seventy he yard bomb, and I think airtime it had to have been like twenty five yards at least. Yeah. It was a bomb. But it I was mean, more than that. When it seemed like the whole team was just fucking deflated, like Tom Brady's footballs. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, there he is. Yeah, he fucking came out and he he pulled it off. Yeah. So congratulations to them. But uh, the game that Derek was freaking having a heart attack and then went from six to midnight um it turns out the special teams for the san francisco 49ers block a punt and recover in the end zone i get i did get to see that they got two blocked kicks in that game and uh robbie gold um ends up kicking the game winner to beat the packers in lambo and that was the best celebration between him and jimmy jimmy garoppolo fuck the packers yes mm. oh my god and even robbie golds come out and just says it feels so good to fucking beat the packers i'm like, sure i love it and robbie gold it will always be a bear in my heart <laughs> i fucking love it i was so happy yeah uh and i need to fucking just google because i've only seen one or two of them i just need to spend a good week we'll get there looking at the videos and uh, the we'll, reactions we'll get there <laughs> here's what's weird uh, is i as happy as you are about it you haven't really s- said or posted anything on facebook <laughs> <laughs> about it i think i posted like 10 memes like that night my wife came up to me like the the day after that happened that i came home from work and she was just like jesus christ have you seen Derek's facebook and i was like oh, no what did he do and he's like it's just nothing but making fun of packers fans i'm like oh well, that's normal <laughs> From the guy whose team didn't make the playoffs. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There's there is something about Derek and myself. We're so fucking petty that we would much rather our teams never win a championship again as long as it guarantees that the teams we hate the most don't win either. Hey Derek, how big of a problem do you have with Scotty comparing himself to you? <laughs> uh, one to ten. I'm gonna need to take that about twenty percent off there, Scotty. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, jeez. But um, yeah. But the uh, the game that was probably the most uh, shocking out of all of them, I guess you could say, would have been the final two minutes of the fucking Buffalo Bills at Kansas City. I was about blacked out, I think, at that point. <laughs> you kind of had to be. Uh, no, I mean, I drank a shitload of bourbon, and oh. I was about blacked out at that point. Jesus H. Christ. I had a great conversation with myself, apparently. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's always good. 25 total points in the last minute and 54 seconds, I believe they said. That's incredible. It It is. And is that because I, the defense sucked? I think the defenses were gassed. Okay. They were playing prevent, uh, which like allows to teams to march down the fucking field. Um, Chiefs defense isn't very good anyway. They were talking about them having the best two-minute defense in <laughs> in the NFL. <laughs> they sure as fuck didn't look like it. They it had it doesn't help when, when Matthew gets knocked out in the first fucking play of the game. Mm-hmm. That really hurts your secondary, but uh, I don't like him anyway. Um, right. But it, it's it, it's just kind of one of those – the Bills didn't do anything wrong. No. They didn't do anything to lose that game. I, it just was a weird twist of fate. Yeah. Uh, if they did anything wrong, they called maybe too loose a coverage. 
there at the end because yeah. you didn't need to protect the sidelines. You didn't need to protect the end zone. You needed to protect them from getting into field goal range. Right. And they were acting like they were blocking, you know, trying to stop a Hail Mary to the end zone. Right. Um, the one good thing about that game is, as a Chicago Bears fan, <clears throat> the Bills defensive coordinator was high on their list of candidates for head coach. Yep. I hope that fucking shut that up real fucking fast. I think he's also being targeted pretty hard by the Giants, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. So well, They had the number one defense him. in the league coming into the coming into that game. game. Yeah. yeah. I still don't give a fuck. I do not want that guy. Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. He used to coach the Vikings, and he was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but who the, is it? Leslie Frazier. Ah, because oh. he's got a girl's name. Yeah, mm-hmm. we already had that. We had Lovey Smith. We don't need sure. another one. Okay. Uh, but in, it ends up on that uh, those final couple plays. Uh, Travis Kelsey just decided to run his own route on that uh, that play that ended up getting him in the field goal range. Yeah, too. Yeah, uh, they called well a play. He should have. They called the play, and you can just hear Patrick Mahone just uh, on the line going, "You do it, Kelsey." And then he ends up hiking the ball, and I guess Kelsey just decided, well, I'm just going to go and run a route, find a big, huge gap in where nobody is, and just stop there, catch the ball, and try to get as many many yards as possible. Well, and when the secondary is playing off of you 15 yards, aren't you pretty well just playing street ball anyway? Pretty much. Yeah. I think so. I, I think it's still absolutely shocking. This is, ha- I mean, this is 14 seconds. You have 14 seconds to drive the field to kick a field goal. 13, Scotty. Was it 13? Yep. Yeah. I apologize. Or I apologize. Not uh, accepted. Okay. Um, but they they were able to do that in 13 seconds, and Dak Prescott ran a halfback draw, or I'm sorry, QB draw that ended up lasting 14. That's yeah. that's their difference, and a champion and a piece of shit. Well, and it helps that you have a guy like Tyreek Hill on that first play of that drive who can – you can throw him a short pass, and he can get it up the field just <clears throat> as fast as if you would have thrown it that far sure. in the air. And it helps that they had all three timeouts. Yeah, that, that I guess that's true. Um, but the fun stuff that happened during the games are the stuff that people are not talking about. I wonder, cause you pointed out Robbie gold and I forgot to mention this. Did you see over the last, last two weeks during the playoffs, he's been like kicking practice field goals while the other team is being introduced onto the field. Yeah, He was doing it in green Bay. I fucking <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Got to handle your business, man. That's right. He didn't stop for nothing. I he, fucking he was, love it. He don't pay you to watch player intros. They pay you to kick fucking field goals. That, kick them fucking field goals, dude. Uh, until the game starts. Absolutely. He was literally out there while they were being introduced and uh, he could probably reach out and touch a couple of the players yeah. if he yeah. wanted to. Closest they got to blocking him. I wish he would have hit Aaron Rodgers in the fucking eye with one of them. Yeah, the total accident there. Um, and the other thing I thought was pretty funny, obviously uh, you leave it up to Chiefs fans. They're going to be assholes from time to time. And there is a fucking fan that ends up going out onto the field and trying to make an ass out of himself. <laughs> And he so Stefan little... Diggs laid him the fuck out. I saw a TikTok video where the guy said he was going to give him a thousand dollars if he did it, if he ran out on the field. If who did? Who was the guy pay that ran? This buddy. Oh well, I bet you his hospital bills and attorney fees are going to be <laughs> a lot more, a lot than more that. than a thousand dollars. Yeah, Diggs did lay his ass out. And so, oh, he I've... hit him hard. And typically, I mean, he got down to the line of scrimmage because typically they won't show people who run out on the field, right? because they don't want to give him that publicity, but they had no choice, and the guy came out of nowhere and fucking digs just fucking... It was like watching Dick Butkus out there just fucking laying his ass out. Well, and, and rightfully so. He's probably pissed off. Yes. A, you're, you're interrupting the game. Well, that's, that's number that's number one, but number Against two... Against some guys who are all fucking hyped up on their emotions that's, anyway. That's the one, is that you, these guys have so much goddamn adrenaline running through their veins and testosterone just boiling over. You're going to get jacked, bro. And, and the truth is, you don't know what that guy's out there to do. Right. You don't know if he's got a gun or a knife or whatever. You, Somebody needs to take his ass out. Yep, and, I'm and those fat ass security guards are going to be chasing that little skinny bastard around all fucking game. So you need somebody athletic to catch him. Yeah, I and saw this in a Royals game. Uh, it was one year. Okay, uh, it was a father and stepson combination against, came out on the field against and, the White Sox. And yeah, against the White Sox, it, it was in Kansas or in in Chicago. They came out and they beat Tom Gamboa, the seventy some year old first base coach for the Royals. Just beat him senseless. They had a knife, didn't they? I no, they just they, they just beat the hell out of him, put him in the what? hospital. So the next year, you know, there was all kinds of security and shit, and the Royals go to Chicago, and some other guy tries to do it, and he attacks the umpire. And they didn't realize that they had gotten Laz Diaz, who is a retired recon Marine, 
<laughs> who fucking flips him over his shoulder. And then here comes Mike Sweeney with the fucking ball who just cracks this guy across the fucking head. But it, it's like you run out on there on the field with professional athletes with spikes on their feet and bats in their hand. You get whatever the fuck's coming to you. Uh-huh. That's that's all. All the ch- There should be no criminal action taken against the guys who beat the fuck out of you. You're fair game. I agree. Uh, and then the last one, uh, Tom Brady ends up uh, bleeding his own blood. That was the only thing I remember from that one. Yeah, that was but, great. It yeah. was the White Goodman uh-huh. in ESPN tweeted it and it was yeah, like, yeah. nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> and then their quote was, probably Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. he's, uh, he's not used to getting rough and tumbled. Yeah. And I think the NFL is like, you're not really our golden boy anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Uh, there on. it is. That's it. There it is right it's there. It's on the TV right now. Yeah. Look at the, all that fucking blood. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't need a transfusion. <laughs> uh, but moving on to real shit or horse shit, uh, we're going to keep it football related. Uh, after the Chiefs ended up beating the Buffalo Bills in overtime after the first possession on a touchdown pass to Travis Kelsey, Real shit or horse shit, the overtime rules in the NFL need to be changed so both teams have a possession. Real shit. Okay. Still, a coin toss can still determine the game, and it shouldn't. I I think you can beat a dead horse as many times as you, as you want to, dude, but, I, I mean, this is real shit. I just don't think they're going to fucking do it. I think they will. I understand in the regular season, I understand this th- doing it this way. I completely do. Because ties are totally possible, too. Yeah. In the playoffs, I think it needs to be uh, different to where both teams can possess the ball. But if, if you're worried about you know making them run the length of the field or whatever, then do something like college does. They, they trade possessions at the, I think it's the what, 20 or 30 yard line, Jeremy. I, uh, I don't remember. 25. Something like that. I, and I would be totally. Split o- the difference. I, yeah. I'd be totally okay with that. But especially in the playoffs, I think both teams deserve the, the chance to possess the ball. In my I, opinion, I agree. But then it comes down to who gets that third possession. Cause, cause in this game, neither defense was going to stop the other offense. Right. They hadn't done it for the last, you know, fucking two minutes. Of the, look mm-hmm. how many scores there was in the last fucking two minutes of the game. Right. I mean, both teams were just moving the ball at will against the other team. Neither yeah. one was going to stop the other. So it would have still been that third possession then yeah. would have determined it. Ne- it. If you do it like they do in college, that game might still be going on. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Well, you just start having linemen do field goal kicks. Sure. That's what you do. Sure. We'll, we'll leave it up to a type of football that you haven't played the whole fucking game. <laughs> Let's, yeah. have, let's have him get in a trick shot pool contest. Yep. But it's real shit for me. Did you say it was real shit? Absolutely. No, oh, not you. Jeremy. Jeremy. I think they need to do something different. Okay. I don't know what, but yeah, they need to do something different. Okay. Great. Uh, real shit or horse shit. This was the greatest weekend in National Football League history. Well, I like to think that any week that the Packers lose is <laughs> one of the greatest <laughs> weeks in football of history. Of course you would. I mean, obviously, the greatest week in football history was Super Bowl twenty, uh-huh. uh, when the Bears won the Super Bowl. So I'm right. going to say horseshit. That was a that was a fucking tight game too. <laughs> no, the, that yeah, that yeah. was almost as tight as the Chiefs Bills game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super super tight. <laughs> what they win by twenty eight points? Oh, 40. 40. forty. Yeah, forty something to the three ten. Oh, or ten. ten. Yeah, yeah okay. forty two to ten or forty five to ten. And I believe there was a last second field goal to get, make it ten, which they really <laughs> needed. <laughs> I think that might have covered the spread. <laughs> Great. Uh, I think this is real shit, man. I don't. I can't remember the last time where you had four games uh, in the playoffs deciding elimination uh, decided by last second score. All, all four overtime. of them did. Yeah, that's came what I'm down that needed a last second field goal. Yeah, I can't remember the last time that happened. Is what I'm saying. This is real shit. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I'm agreeing with you for oh, once. Okay. Wow. <laughs> fucking turd. I'll, I'll, you know, you know what? I take it back. This is the fucking worst week of football I've ever seen. It's the worst goddamn weekend of my fucking life. Just I'll, so I'll give it the third best weekend because the second best weekend, remember, we saw Janet Jackson's titty. That's true. <laughs> so, that, is, that is true. That was a good weekend. It was. It was. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Uh, real shit or horse shit. This was, uh, this was actually a question on, uh, Kellerman and Keyshawn, I think is a new show on ESPN, I believe. Uh, but Max Kellerman said that 
he would rather take Justin Herbert over Aaron Rodgers as his starting quarterback. Real shit. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Just real because shit. you hate him. Huh? This he, be, just because you hate him? He's a horrible fucking person. I understand. And Talent. just I don't care about talent. I'm talking about even with his team. Look what he did to Green Bay in the offseason. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great. It's fucking me first. Yeah. And he is I don't see him as a good as a good teammate. I feel like it's all about him. And so I would say absolute horse shit or real shit. I would take fucking Herbert all day. And he's younger. Yeah. I, I hate Max Kellerman about as much as I as you hate Aaron Rodgers though. Um, but I also hate Aaron Rodgers a lot too. And I love Justin Herbert. I think he's an excellent quarterback. This is real shit. Jeremy? Under what what circumstances are we talking here? You're starting quarterback for for whatever team. For a season? Because, I mean, if you're looking to make your franchise quarterback, Aaron Rodgers has only got a couple years left, maybe. Whereas Herbert's got his whole fucking career ahead of him. Yeah. But if if I've got a team that's a, a winning caliber team already and I just need a quarterback, I'm probably going to go with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, but what if you're talking about you, – would you would you rather – That's be, what I'm asking. What are we fucking talking about here, okay. Scotty? God damn it! <laughs> you're the head coach for either the Los Angeles Chargers right now or you're the head coach of the Houston Texans where Aaron Rodgers decides to go next. Oh, well, I'm going to go with the uh, Chargers just for the weather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, fair enough. Okay, next one. Uh, real shit or horse shit? This is Aaron Rodgers' last season playing for the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to say real shit. Okay, I think didn't he come out and say that there's a lot of guys that's contra- that's going to have con- expiring contracts. They're not going to be able to keep them all, and he's not going to be part of a rebuild again. He's also me first. Yeah. So he's. I think he ends up in maybe Pittsburgh, maybe Denver. Yeah. Uh, one of those two spots I could see him, but I don't think he's going to be back in Green Bay. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be in the NFC, and I don't. I, I agree with you. I think he. This is the last year he's he's going to be in Green Bay, and I agree. I think he's uh, he may end up going to uh, Pittsburgh. That's probably the best spot I can see for him right now. He, if he doesn't want to go to a rebuild, he's got tools around him. I think that he also makes Juju Smith Schuster a much better wide receiver than than he's been. Uh, he's got tools. He's got he's got a good working class team, and I think uh, that Ben Roethlisberger is actually what held them back this year. So I'm going to say this is real uh, shit. Schuster was hurt most of the year. He was, but he wasn't getting targeted either um, because of because he was made, hurt. Well, he wasn't getting targeted <laughs> when he was on the field when he was healthy. He didn't I'm have saying. a good year the last couple of years. That's so. right, and I think that's because of Ben Roethlisberger. So yeah, they got away from being a passing team a couple of years ago, right? Uh, Yeah, I don't think he's going to be in Green Bay, even though he has seemed to do kind of a 180 on, you know, the the team management. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because he was basically anti-Green Bay before the season started, and he's kind of come around on that. So there's a chance, but I think it's probably real shit that he will not be a Packer. Yeah, but he probably was going to get financially penalized if he kept on walking around saying, fuck this place. You, well, know, you he, know what I'm saying? He reminds me of LeBron. Oh, yeah. That's a, a good comparison. A lot of LeBron. That's a good comparison. Like Where he's going to, he dictates who, like he he was the reason Randall Cobb came back to Green Bay. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. He's black? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll be damned. Yeah, he's been in white that's face the first this thing, whole time. That's, that's <laughs> the first thing you compare, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Damn. He's in white. He's been in white face. No wonder time. you hate him. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> last one. Real shit or horse shit? This was Tom Brady's last season playing in the NFL. Horse shit. Ooh. Tom Brady is too much of a narcissist. He wants to. He's going to announce it before next season that this will be his last season, so they can do that. You know, mm. farewell to Tom Brady, like they did with Derek Jeter, kind of shit. Mm. That you know, now that you bring that up, I think I agree with you. I think he's going to have his retirement tour. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you're absolutely correct. I don't think it's because he's a narcissist, though. Kind of is. No, I think he's become a great, a much better person. How about let, let's say that? I think he's become a much better person since moving from New England to Tampa Bay. He was kind of in Belichick's shadow in a way. Yeah. And yeah. now he's out of that. And now, he, yeah, he's opened up. He's got a fucking personality. He's not a robot. Yeah. And he's and he's helping kids beat cancer and shit like that. It's amazing what he's done. So, but yeah. he is the greatest of all time. And and whether he would come right out and, and say that, he knows it. Yeah. And he wants his fond farewell yeah, yeah which I, is the actual <clears throat> opposite uh because aaron Rodgers actually helps cancer beat kids right so <laughs> yeah of course he does cancer uh, preservation society <laughs> yep we all agree <laughs> that's he's the only pro cancer quarterback in the league <laughs> yeah rogers is i know 
He's been in, he's immunized from it though. Right. Uh, but that's real shit or horse shit for this week. Now I get to move on to all the fun stuff, all the things that make this show excellent instead of just good. Uh, well, have a good night, Scott. <laughs> I got to go watch yeah. Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> But now we get to move on uh, to a new segment that we've started to do that is gaining in popularity. This is called Bad Advice with Jeremy, where if you guys do have any uh, questions that you would like uh, answered by Jeremy, you can send them to us at uh, Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. You can send them to our TikTok as well, again, at Laughing on the Sidelines. Google at Laughing on the, Sign, uh, the, Laughing on the Sidelines. If you can't find out a way to get a hold of us, you're being a retard. Uh, but this week's um, bad advice with Jeremy is from uh, somebody named at the real Dewey Cox. Uh, and he writes, Jeremy, I just got engaged and my fiance's mother has become an absolutely controlling nightmare about the wedding. She used to have cancer, so she plays that card every time she feels left out. How should I handle this? Ah, this is a, a a very common problem, Dewey. Um, <clears throat> it's all about boundaries. That's that's a, a big key to a lot of marriages, um, it, it, and it starts with the wedding. Uh, you just have to let her know where she stands, and it's all about good communication. Like like with most stuff in all healthy relationships, you have to kind of assert yourself and play to her vanity a little bit. Let her know that you're doing this out of love. That you. She loves her daughter. She raised her. She did a wonderful job raising a very special young lady, which is <clears throat> why you proposed to her in the first place. But that she needs to understand that when her daughter accepted the proposal, she basically became your property. <laughs> you own her. Okay. <laughs> this is about the two of you and her involvement in this wedding basically needs to be open and shut. She needs to open her checkbook and shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's where it needs to be. And... She may push back a little on that, but you need to really drive the point home and let her know that, uh, you know, come honeymoon time, you're going to be just launching loads into her little girl, which means kids are probably coming soon. And if she ever wants to see those grandbabies again, she'll keep that filthy dick sucker of hers shut. <laughs> and maybe she still pushes back. Maybe mom's got some moxie to her. And uh, in that case, that's when you... Call your bride-to-be into the room, and you tell her she needs to choose, her or me. And either way, it's a win-win for you. Either one, you get that bitch mother-in-law out of the way now, or you get to stay single. So <laughs> either way, it's good for you. Now, maybe you say, I can't do that. That's too aggressive. And I kind of figured that would probably be the case because the fact you didn't know how to handle this tells me you're probably not a real man in the first place. So... There's a more passive aggressive way to handle this, more of a deflection. And for this, Scotty, I'm going to need to rely on your improv skills. In this case, you're going to be the mother-in-law <laughs> making wedding suggestions, and I'm I'm going to be the real Dewey Cox here, and uh, I'm going to show you how I handle this. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. So so just make some wedding suggestions to me. I th I think the colors should be. <laughs> <laughs> Either one of those is better than whatever you're doing now, and uh, that's my advice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeremy, for my that. pleasure. That's wonderful. Happy to help. Thank you, uh, at the real Dewey Cox. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, you know, helps your your situation. <sighs> <laughs> poor fucker. All oh, right. They are obligated to follow whatever advice I give them, right? <laughs> right yeah, Legally when, obligated. That well, was I don't know if they knew that or not. Yeah. Poor, <laughs> the last the last uh, four I have been re they've responded back to. Thank you for such great advice. Uh, it worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now moving on to over saving the world one question at a time, right here. <laughs> yep. Moving on to overrated or underrated uh, again. If you do have any suggestions for these uh, these next two segments or the last one, you can uh, message us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines anywhere. Oh, and uh, Twitter. Uh, we're on Twitter, which is at Sidliners Pod. Just uh, fired that bad boy up. You know, traction's not very good, but it's Twitter. But anyways, uh, first one. Uh, this is from a listener. Uh, it's a new listener, he says. Uh, this is at... T Adams 095. He wants to know overrated or underrated power washing. 
I think it's maybe it's to dams. <laughs> to dams? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that better. Yeah. If it's not, that's what you should tell people it is. It, now. Yeah, it, it is to dams. You're yeah. right. To dams. Yep, you're right. Uh, yeah. I like it. What do you think? Power washing. Uh well, I think washing in general is overrated. Really? <laughs> uh, absolutely. Unbelievable. It's just gonna get dirty again. Yeah. So I'm gonna say overrated, especially whenever you're power washing like concrete. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Guess what? People fucking drive and walk on it and leak oil all over it and animals shit and piss on it and homeless people sleep on it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. You paid good money to get your dirt cleaned. Okay. That sounds fucking stupid. All right. All right. All right. Got it off your chest? Yes. Okay, I'm going to say... And fuck Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to say this is underrated, and the only reason why I'm going to say that is maybe not me doing the power washing, but watching videos of people power washing shit so oddly satisfying. Yes. <laughs> See? I, I am. I have a, a pressure washer myself, and uh, i got to totally disagree with Derek here. It's, <laughs> it is so oddly cathartic. <laughs> totally. It, it's like those videos of people like, smushing things or what to to sit there especially concrete <laughs> yes to, you don't realize how dirty your concrete is until you run that and just to see the clean streaks god damn i mean it's almost hypnotic it's so fucking relaxing i don't i don't sit there going i need to fucking pressure wash this i just enjoy doing it <laughs> unless by the way uh you wear sandals and run it over your foot <laughs> oh, yeah. oh i put a big old slice across the top of my foot one time <laughs> yeah it'll hurt mine does like 3500 psi <laughs> and it i had it down close and oh. oh yeah 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 that fucking sucked painful okay uh next one uh this is overrated or underrated having a fun time video uh with you and your spouse the hell is fun time? Are we going to like play mini golf? Uh, I used to call it a sex tape back in the day, but now there's it's no tape. There's, there's no, no tape. tape. So uh, what do you call it? A uh, uh, video? Video? Yeah. yeah. Sex video. Yeah. You know, you're making your fuck vids. Yeah. Uh, well, if it was me, it'd be more of a GIF. Yeah. A video. <laughs> in, out, in, out, done. And let's just play that on repeat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go overrated. Okay. Just for A, that reason, and B, I don't want anything that involves me naked to have any chance of getting out anywhere online. A hundred percent. I fuck with jeans on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, pull you're it a, out through the fly. You're a never nude? Uh-huh. Oh, be damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is overrated. Uh, I once I'm, fucked in a three-piece suit. <laughs> <laughs> in court. <laughs> Yeah, this is over. Did you beat that rape charge? Nope. They <laughs> caught me in the act. Okay. I couldn't believe my own attorney. <laughs> Who's, who are you fucking representing here? <laughs> I'm the victim. Uh, this is overrated. I'm with Derek. I, I know that my wife's in it, and that's good looking, but I don't want to see me, and I don't want anybody else to yeah. see me either. So, no. Overrated. Jeremy? Yeah, overrated. <laughs> Way overrated. Yeah. Well, plus it's not very entertaining if we're in jeans. I, I think you'd be surprised, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Especially if I wear my boots and spurs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cowboy hat. They jingle, jangle, jingle, you know. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, next one. Uh, this is overrated or underrated. Wearing underwear inside out to avoid doing laundry. I'm going to go... Uh overrated okay my wife does the laundry <laughs> by god if my underwear aren't clean we're gonna have fucking words <laughs> and i'm gonna end up on the news again yeah not happening no. <laughs> my underwear is clean uh, and my wife doesn't have to put extra layers of makeup around her eyes yeah uh, i <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Ranger Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Britney Spears. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't know. I've never had to do this either. I'm gonna go with overrated, but I, I guess I guess I've never had to. I if I couldn't wash my own underwear, I'd go to Walmart and buy another fucking set. So I'm gonna say it's overrated. 
Okay. I would go commando <laughs> before I did this. <laughs> Serious. I mean, yes, my wife does do the laundry. She's Asian. But <laughs> at the same time, it's like I can if I have to. Like if, if she's dead or something, yeah. then I can I can wash my own underpants. And uh, I'm not a fucking lazy asshole. <laughs> I mean, I am, but not, not to this extent. Right. I mean, okay, has it, have I it, wear. I sometimes go without underwear because it makes fucking easier. Right, get it out through my jeans. That way. I don't have to go through the fly <laughs> yeah. in the in the underpants too. Right, but seriously, uh, how have any of any of you guys ever done this before? Ever, like I, no, I'm a, I'm no. A, I'm assuming this, this is isn't a thing for like a college kid that doesn't have a laundry uh, I, like dry, washer and dryer or some shit. No, I've never done this before. Get one. <laughs> yeah, get a washer you, and dryer. You can fucking pick up a set for 40 bucks on <laughs> Craigslist. Yeah, that's right. You may have to deal with some bullshit, but <laughs> you can get it. Facebook Marketplace, yes. baby. And if it doesn't work, just kind of rattle it around and go, try it now. Yeah. <laughs> fucking wash them in the sink, for God's sake. People beat clothes on rocks for <laughs> years. Years. Thousands of years. Come on, uh, now, Scotty. Not uh, thousands. Okay, fine. All right, uh, next one, overrated or underrated, videos of fan meltdowns after a tough loss. Underrated. I'm actually going to watch weeks and weeks of these. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't beat that. That is the best because usually those fans are fucking assholes. <laughs> those fan bases are. Mine included, I've got some assholes in mine, and I just love seeing it. I, I do too. This is so underrated. And you're right. You can watch weeks of it. Mm-hmm. You, they never run out of videos. No. Because it's there's that some it's it's like that one kid where they they know their parents are lifetime fans of this team that's in the playoffs and this kid doesn't give a fuck. And he knows it's going to get views and likes on TikTok, so he's going to video every single second of that reaction of that dad throwing the fucking remote control through the TV. And it makes all of us laugh. This is underrated. It's almost always a real fat guy, too. Yeah, yeah. Almost always. And mm-hmm. the way he, like, stomps his feet and throws a fit and you just see everything jiggle. Yeah. And it's it's usually Cowboys fans. Uh, with, or maybe that's just who I watch the most. Mm-hmm. The thing is, is that up until, I'm going to say, four or five years ago, that was me. That's how I react. I actually legitimately, like for my blood pressure's sake, I had to kind of stick, take a step back from sports mm. and not get so emotionally invested. K-State was the fucking worst mm-hmm. about it. Um, that is they, me. They broke my fucking heart so many goddamn times. But, you know, I don't, I don't get that way anymore. And so now I look at it and I'm like, God, what fucking losers. But at the, at the same time, it's like, that I, I used to be that guy. <laughs> I am that guy. <laughs> I've seen Derek's teams lose in front of him. It's mm-hmm. not pretty. Oh, the fucking time we were at Biggins and the double doink. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, fuck. That was awful. You should have seen whenever I was at Wrigley and they hit the game-tying home run and the fucking, yeah. uh, when Rajay Davis hit it. Oh. Yeah, but I think there's a level now that I, I don't think I, any of us would throw a, a remote control through a TV. No, 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 because I, I, I know what the fucker costs. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's my point. I would throw it through somebody else's TV for sure. Oh, for sure. Um, I did like the one. I forget. Was it Dallas? I can't remember who it was. But the probably. guy fucking threw his TV down and then shot it. <laughs> <laughs> Which and see that was staged. Fucking great. It was still funny. I don't yeah, care. It's still great. Did he shoot it because Dallas was on <laughs> <laughs> the TV show? That seems like the a, TV show. Sure. He hated Patrick Duffy. Absolutely, he could not stand him. In, in all seriousness, <laughs> they're all Dallas. Fuck you, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> all shot the fucking JR? Ewings. I oh, shot Jr. Yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, the Dallas Cowboys have a most uh, fans. They have the largest fan base. But on top of that, they... They're also the most hated team. They're also the most hated team. But at the same time, they also lose more playoff games than majority of other teams. Uh, they just won a year. Uh, they in the, last, <laughs> Typically. in the last 25 years, they are number five on the, uh, like the number of wins, the least amount of wins. They're number playoff five. Playoff wins, you mean? Playoff wins, yes. Okay. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars have more than they do. Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguars. Eat that, Dallas Cowboy fans. Yeah. And this is the last overrated, underrated. Uh, Let's see. Overrated or underrated? Clone your willy kits. Like make a rubber wiener (laughs) out of your wiener? (laughs) Yep. No. 
No. No. Nobody'd <laughs> want that. It'd be like those little thumb puppets you put on when you were a kid. You know what I'm talking about? Where there's like a little goblin. No. No. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, if I'm gonna put something in my ass, I want it bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the last thing that I really want is to get because there's only one angle sort of that you can really see yourself on on a regular basis. Uh huh. Unless you're really looking at some cool angles and mirrors. <laughs> but if you make like a three D model of it and then compare it to other dildos, boy, what a fucking <laughs> shot to your ego that's gonna be. Oh yeah. Jeremy, that's not the reason for it. Mine's more like a starter butt plug. <laughs> Like, you're maybe interested in the idea of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you start out with that one, and then if you can handle that, maybe we go to a finger. <laughs> it's, like, it's, hey, that's, it's like a clone of clit. <laughs> they, they have those two, probably. But no, the whole point. Of course point, they do. Yeah. <laughs> the whole point of this is so that your, your, your spouse is not cheating on you if, you know, she's... The size but, of my dick is why my spouse is cheating on me. <laughs> It's so she's yeah, using your you dick. You should have seen her in this fucking Cowboys meme. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. No, oh, this is overrated as hell. Yeah. This is so fucking overrated. I don't want my wife to have to endear that um, when I'm not there. So If she's no. turning me down but fucking herself <laughs> with a clone of my dick, <laughs> do you know how pissed off that would make me, honestly? Exactly. Because I'm there all the fucking time. <laughs> That's right. It's not, like, it's not like she can have me when I'm not around. She could have me whenever. I'll take off work. Exactly. It's not like we're going to say no. Yeah. Jesus. We might. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, we I, might. I actually. We might be watching football or doing something. You know, woodworking. Yeah. Game, Jeremy. So, anyways, uh, that is overrated or underrated for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. This is Jeremy's favorite segment. Uh, we're going to go with first question. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, first question. If your alarm made this sound, it would immediately wake you up. I got mine. Go. Okay. Uh, no bullshit. No joke. If, if, if any of my dogs are getting ready to throw up, I will oh. be in oh, a yeah. dead stupor. I could be passed out for four hours, and I will wake up, jerk myself out of the bed, and get them to the door. I finally beat the clock on that the other day. Yeah. Finally got my dog outside. Luckily, he's tiny and only makes small puke spots. Sure. And I've, I've got a machine that cleans it up called mm -hmm. an Asian wife. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, I finally got him outside just in time to throw up one time. Of course, I've got to pick him up and carry him because he's really old and he doesn't really run anymore. <clears throat> yeah. And it's hard to run and puke at the same time. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but yeah, that's mine. Derek? Aztec death whistle. Aztec death whistle. whistle. <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of you would be scared. Did they interrupt an Az Aztec death whistle with an ad? <laughs> <laughs> they would, of course. Who the fuck is watching that enough to where we got to advertise on this spot? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say that would uh, wake me up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah I'd be fucking gone. <laughs> yeah. How about, uh, how about you, Jeremy? It would just be like the sound of a carnival, carnival barker going... <laughs> Blowjobs and snow cones here. <laughs> blowjobs and snow cones. Get your blowjobs and snow cones here. I love snow cones. <laughs> I love blowjobs. <laughs> Giving them or receiving? Both. <laughs> Good deal. <clears throat> All right. Uh, next question. Fun tip. When your spouse asks you to go down on them, try surprising them with blank. Your whole fist. <laughs> I set a puppet show. You can turn her oh. into a puppet. <laughs> sure. Just Jim Henson around. <laughs> Damn it. But, or, yeah, you could just have a puppet show. Jeremy mm -hmm. always wants to have a, an actual puppet I, kit. You wouldn't fucking shell out the 15 bucks for that <laughs> puppet theater stage. I didn't. I didn't. But that would be an attraction, too. Sure it would. You take so, that down there? Yeah. Just start putting on a little show. Uh-huh. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah. Jeremy? I'd go marionettes, but that's just me. Okay. I'm classy. Fine. Uh, McDonald's gift certificates. 
<laughs> remember like they used to hand out trick or treating? They were like fifty cents each. And yeah, she'd be, like, she'd be like, Go down on me and I'm like, How about a free caramel Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> free small fry Instead. with purchase of drink. They're both sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Buy one, get one free McRib. Okay, next one. Uh, this is from a fan question. He's from Down Under, Daniel Delaney. Wants to know messages you won't find on Candy Hearts this Valentine's Day. Okay, but wash it first. <laughs> oh, that'd be a great one. That would be awesome. You won't find it. No, you won't find it, though. Uh, mine just says, uh, I hope you get fucked. That's, that's mine. Okay. Jeremy. Uh, totally adequate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or you'll do. That's right where I was getting ready to go. Um, oh. Power bottom. <laughs> You're fine. Power wash bottom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Below average. Uh, any more? Oh, there's there's plenty. Pl- there's I'm plenty. sure you could keep going if you want. Uh, all right. I don't. Okay. That's I don't fine. want to. Be hers while I watch. <laughs> 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 okay <laughs> that one might work uh next question catch phrases that would not catch on um for me anyway okay like when you're getting ready to do something you know unpleasant like you know some kind of hard work you know resheet rock in a room or whatever and, mm-hmm. and you gotta like psych yourself up to do it uh this corpse ain't gonna rape itself. <laughs> uh, I got, I actually have one. Okay. Uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the well-groomed ball sack. Okay. Okay. That's mine. It's more of a figure of speech than a catchphrase, but whatever. Mine. It came. It, I I googled it and then made my own. It said catchphrase. Let's, let's make it like a paraplegic and roll out. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Woo! That's By the one. way, I was looking at this. Uh, to dams, that might be tada ms like somebody with multiple sclerosis. <laughs> that's who a does magician. magic? Yeah. yeah, it's like that's that's how he got his diagnosis. Tada! That's how he announced it. I have ms. I, I like to think that of him. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not. It sounds T- more pleasurable to me. We've moved on from T he's Adams. A- he's not T Adams. He's got three other nicknames he can go with. Uh, all right, uh, last question. Terrible names for dogs. Imagine you're losing, you, you've lost your dog, and you're going out to find it. Aww. You know what I mean? It happens, and mm-hmm. you're just going around the neighborhood going, Rape! <laughs> Rape! <laughs> Rape! <laughs> Come here! Rape! <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I went, <laughs> oh, that's good. I went with, uh, Shiwu. That's Chinese for food. Well, you know, we don't live in fucking China. <laughs> yeah, but they live here. They sure do. Some of their meat is kind of uh, questionable. I live with one right from Japan. Yeah. Chinese. Not, not China. How about you, Jeremy? Um, I wasn't sure if you meant the the dog's name or the breed of dog. Either way, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Those exist. Yes. They're spelled incorrectly, but they exist. Yes. They're, That's why I put the two together, Scotty. I'm fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> They're pieces I, I of shit. I spelled the fucking thing out for you ahead of time, and you're like, that's real. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. That's why I went with that. They're pieces of shit, too. Oh, I like Scotties. I really? Not you. Oh. Well, you mean to. In fact, other than you, I like most Scotties. <laughs> okay. Scotty Pippen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's all right. Kind of pissing off Michael I, Jordan. I've right heard now. he's kind of a dick. He is actually. kind of a dick. He, he doesn't, I heard he doesn't tip. Wait, no tipping, Pippen? Yep. What are you, <sighs> fucking surprised? <clears throat> all right. A little. Well, that is our questions, Ben Preguntas, for this week's episode. If you do have any suggestions that we have not done in previous episodes, you can send them to us at Instagram or at uh, TikTok and at Twitter. Uh, TikTok and Instagram is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Twitter is at Sidelinerspod. Uh, now we get to move on to... 
Ah, what the hell. My favorite part of every single episode, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And um, last week, uh, I won. Rain! <laughs> Rain! I know, mm-hmm. I know. How many times you vote for yourself, Scotty? How many fake profiles do you make up? 28. I got 13 friend requests from him. Yeah. That's, <laughs> he said he doesn't accept friend requests from listeners or you. <laughs> no, I uh, I think I win. I won that with Aaron Hernandez, I think, as a flash in the pan athlete. But... Uh, Derek came in second. Jeremy came in first, so that means... No, I came in third, Scotty. You're used to uh, saying sorry. I came in first. I am used to saying it. Sorry, Jeremy came in third, but you get first pick. Uh, Derek gets second pick. I get the championship back-to-back pick. So uh, on this week's draft, I, I'm excited for this one. This is our favorite. Is it favorite or best? Favorite. Okay. Our favorite rap songs of all time. Hip-hop rap well, gangster you, rap. You know, of. you know how I love the hip hop. <laughs> yeah. You know how it gets down. Uh huh. I love to scratch on that record. That's what was right. you? You used to manage some rappers, didn't you? I it, sure did. <laughs> Do you remember any of their names? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Analog Underground. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You God, this this is this is gonna date me <laughs> so badly because <laughs> me too. I don't know any fucking. I don't. M- yeah. I don't think I have a single song on here that was uh, after 2009. Well, mine. I'll go back to 74. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Simon and Garfunkel on here. <laughs> oh, those guys are always uh-huh. good rappers. rappers delight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but you get first pick, Jeremy. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have to go with our favorites? Our favorite. Uh, you know what? If you don't have any, then uh, you can just pick some. Oh, you- oh, I've got some. I just, they're not going to be relevant. People aren't going to know them. Okay. So, so you're I, gonna- God damn it. Okay. Fuck. The challenge is always beat Scotty, and it's not that big sure. of a challenge. So, uh, fuck the police. Yeah. Good one. That's a good one. Damn it. I love that ice cube. Uh-huh. I'm going to go ahead and cross that one off the fucking list. Gin and juice. By the way, that wasn't my pick. I was just saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got gin and juice? Yes. Damn it. I know me and you are going to have a bunch that are similar. I know you do like to roll down the street. Yeah. <clears throat> Smoking endo. But, like, that song comes on and... People that don't even know that Snoop and Dre were the ones that did that. It was Snoop and Dre that did I think that. It was just Snoop. Was it just Snoop? Was it just Snoop? Was yep. it just Snoop? I yep. thought it featured Dre. Um, no, but, he got no. some Seagram's gin. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, that's fair. Um, Actually, that's Snoop too. I think. Okay, that's yeah, fine. He does. Um, I can't live without one of these, so I'm gonna go with uh, "Forgot About Dre." Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go with uh, the Rough Riders Anthem by DMX. Mm, okay. Yeah. I fucking love DMX. Shit. <clears throat> RIP, bro. Uh, Derek? Today was a good day. Okay, you can have that one. Really? You like that one, huh? I love that one. Huh. That kind of surprises me a little I bit. I love that song. I know, but that's just weird. I love Ice Cube. I know. Uh, Jeremy, you get back-to-back picks, dude. God, I'm just going off the top of my head here. Okay. Uh, Paul Revere. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, by the Beastie Boys. Paul Revere. Yeah, I know. But it just threw me for a loop. Of course it did. I thought it was going to be. Because it's way better than anything you could ever (laughs) come up with. I thought you were going to say British were coming or something. That's right. Scotty, I'm going back to the fucking colonies. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one. Regulate. Good okay, one. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, boy. Derek? Straight out of Compton. Fuck. Yeah. Great movie, too. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I get back-to-back picks. I'm kind of pumped about this, actually. I'm going to go with Tupac, California Love. That's got Dre. That does have Dre in it, yeah. He's out on bail, fresh out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> California Dreaming. Okay, all right. Now, surprise we haven't picked one of his yet, so I'll go ahead and do it. But I don't. Uh, I gotta be honest with myself. My favorite song that he ever sang or rapped was uh, "Rap God," so I'll take Eminem's "Rap God." Okay. And Derek, Big Papa. Yeah, I forgot about Big Papa. Son of a bitch! You don't ever throw your hands in the air. No, like he's a true player. I know. <clears throat> okay. Jeremy, me get, is this last one? No, you get two. Yeah, so one. Oh, I get your two. Last, yeah, you're two. Okay. Um. Fuck. I didn't know about that. Mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, let's go with Humpty Dance. Okay. The Humpty. Love hump. the Humpty Dance. The song's called the Humpty Dance. I know. Oh, whatever. Speaking of of uh, Tupac. Uh huh. He was in there. Um. Last one. Last one ever. Yeah. And then I can just be done with the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Well, there's that one about Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I know exactly which one you're yeah. talking about. Jesus walks that with me. Oh. oh no! No 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 no! <laughs> this, one's, this is two white people. <laughs> far far more offensive. <laughs> it just hit me what you're talking uh-huh. about. <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about. I did, now I know exactly. And why. then there's that guy from the Blue Blockers commercial. Uh, oh, oh, remember that too? Yeah. Um. <laughs> don't forget E equals MC vagina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, show fuck. me your genitals. Your <laughs> yeah. genitals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Jean Le Joie. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to go with the next episode. Okay. All right. That's a good one, too. I'm surprised, Jeremy. Good for I you. I know you are. Uh-huh. Good for you. I'm not going to go with a single Eminem one. I I, I, I understand. I, I debated. I love Eminem, but... I, I just, I like a lot of these. If I had my choice to listen to any of these, uh, these are probably a little higher up. Uh, and the last one is a little obscure, but I fucking love it. Break your neck. Yeah. Buster Rhymes. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the, I get I get last pick, but, like, that's kind of where I'm debating because there's that, like, mid-level or, like, mid-timeline of those rappers, like, mm-hmm. right in the 2000s. You can tell how old I am with all these. Sure. But um, I, I had <clears throat> I had two rappers that I really really loved. Bought multiple albums of them, but I'm gonna go with Nelly's "Country Grammar." Okay. But the other honorable mention guy that I love that just disappeared off the face of the earth as far as making uh, his own music, but he's like producing uh, is Luda. I love Luda. Oh. Um, get back. I like, I mean, he, he kind of got music to, that pumped you up, but if, if it, you put a gun to my head and said, who's your favorite? I really loved DMX when I was younger. X going to give it to you. It was a good song. There's too. multiple Tupac songs you could still put on there. Oh, sure. A whole bunch of them. How about you, Jeremy? You Jeremy honorable mentions? Oh, I had all kinds of them. Yeah. There's I think the two should, that I mentioned. Yeah. You should have uh, mentioned the, the Jesus Christ one. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like without me. Yeah. yeah. Eminem. Mm-hmm. Um, my name is. Yeah, that was one that was. So yeah, and the real Slim Shady. That was that was I, good. I, I didn't too. mind that one. No, uh, there was some of them that. What's that one that he sang with his fucking daughter? Uh, Haley. <clears throat> oh no, no. I know what you're um, talking about. I think my, my dad's, dad's gone, gone crazy. crazy. That yeah, sucked. Was, yeah, it was kind of bad. Um, God damn it! I had a few in my head. Why can't I think of them now? Tag team. Whoop! There it is. Oh fuck! Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Jay Z, check 90, and direct it. Let's begin. That's right. <laughs> Ninety nine problems by Jay Z. I had on there. Dirt off your shoulders by Jay Z. Yeah. How, how many of those problems are bitches? Uh, none. None of them. Not, not one. A, not a single mm-hmm. one. God damn. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a G thing. Ain't nothing but a G thing was on my so list. So I take it that was before Beyonce. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, Mama said knock you out was another one. I oh fuck. There. Yeah, that was another. That's one. ladies love cool James. Uh huh. That's right. Nobody picked MC Hammer one. Really. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, Adam's family. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one I would go for. Too legit to quit. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm out. Uh, but anyways, that is our draft. Uh, we will have oh, it Turtle up. Power. 
Oh shit! We could have done the vanilla ice turtle one. Bombs no, over that, Baghdad. Outcast. Bombs over Baghdad. Outcast. Yeah, that was another one. But yeah, do you remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, the second one where vanilla yeah, ice was? But then there was Fuck. there was one just called go Turtle Ninja, Power from go the first Ninja, one. Go! I could have done that one. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, you could have. I could have could have done Ice Ice Baby. That was a great song. Uh, it was all right. Uh, but anyways, that is our draft. I'll put uh, lists up on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines <clears throat> podcast. You can vote for your favorite list of, uh, of rap songs that we have by the uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji. And uh, whoever wins gets the champion picks next week. But that's about it. Uh, but now we get to move on to my real favorite part of every single episode. This oh, is face down, ass up. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. Life Crew. Right. Uh, now, my favorite part of every single episode, this is the laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. On the uh, morning around 9.30 a.m. on December 1st, 1976, on East Main Street in Newark, Delaware, mm. um, right in the middle of a breakfast rush, uh, there was a huge explosion at the local McDonald's. <laughs> um, it's believed that the explosion was caused by uh, a gas leak that, in maybe what might be the most 70s thing ever, was ignited when one of the cooks lit his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> It completely demolished one entire side of the, the restaurant. Uh, 23 people were severely injured. However, nothing, no one died in it, which proves that nothing bad really happens in Delaware. <laughs> um, in fact, this, this thing ranks number seven on the worst disasters in <laughs> Delaware history, according to the list that I looked at. And so now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, I'm loving it. <laughs> Thought you were going to say Legos, smoke them if well, you got that's them. That's what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> why not? Nobody's going to die from it. This is why Delaware is such no. an amazing place. And it's there's so a safe. Newark, Delaware. This, a this, Newark. this kind of proves smoking doesn't kill. <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Uh, this week's shitty situation is, would you rather have a hard-of-hearing dog named Rape or... <laughs> so you have to yell it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he can kind of hear, but not uh -huh. very well. Yeah, you got to talk very loudly. <laughs> or, and you can't give him a nickname. No. I'm poor, I, I was told before we started recording that Glenn is off the list. Glenn is totally yeah. off the that Glenn's way worse. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, like, <laughs> imagine like, lay down, rape! Yeah. <laughs> rape, lay down! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> rape! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> or, or get caught on national television with your side piece. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> but having a dog named Rape <laughs> would be fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I, I don't have a side piece yet, so that means I would have to get one, and there's no way it's going to be better than what I got. Uh, a and B. No, no, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, come here, rape. Rape! <laughs> <laughs> I, as well, am going to go with uh, the dog named Rape. I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law has been pl plotting out my murders since, like, the day we said I do. <laughs> dude, dude, set boundaries. <laughs> 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 and I would be fucking terrified to ever have any kind of a side piece, <laughs> let alone be caught on TV with one. <laughs> and uh, blown up as a fucking meme. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I couldn't imagine it. So, no, I, I'm going to I'm gonna stay married, and we, uh, our little family and rape are yeah. going to live uh, happily ever after. <laughs> or even wear a Dow Dallas Cowboys jersey, for that matter. I mean, this guy. It just, doesn't have to be at a Cowboys game, does it? I know, but I'm just using the guy as the example. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Far more embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys jersey. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Jeremy? I, I'm going with the dog, too. Um, I love doggy style. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Especially when it comes to rape. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the dog. <laughs> I'm fucking getting another dog now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Katie, my wife's going to be like, can we please get another dog? All right, I got one condition. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's got to be like 14. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't take much more of this shit. And no, he's got to be hard of hearing. Yeah, yeah, hard of hearing. So we have to yell, Ray! <laughs> Ray! Uh, um, yes, uh, I, I'm going to go with the dog. Because while it would be nice to have enough game to get a side chick, um, which I don't have, uh, the fact is, yes, my wife would leave me. And at this age, the odds of me finding somebody else who can do my laundry right <laughs> <laughs> just not happening. So I'm going to go with the dog because I, I like dogs no matter what their name is. Yeah, uh, man. Or you would just, I mean, you'd have to, you know, flip your underwear around, wear them inside out, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you'd go commando. I, I would, I, or I, I, would I, I, I'm not bragging or nothing, but I do make enough money to buy new underpants. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I always go underpants instead of underwear. Underpants, it's funnier. <laughs> Did it ever drive you nuts? You watched King of the Hill, I'm sure. Oh, sure. Whenever Bobby would always call his shorts short pants. That no, I to, love that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> used to drive I, me nuts. I love doing it just because it's it's old fashioned folding money. I love that too. Oh. Got your short pants. You got to wear a hard shoe like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Assholes in their geez. short pants and their fucking sandals. Fucking hippies. <laughs> Just, anyways, do you, uh, anybody got any shows? Yeah, I got some more. You do? Yeah. What you got? February uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th, I will be at the Looney Bin Comedy Club. There we go. All so, right. Um, and then tomorrow and the next night, I will be watching Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> You got to do that on Tuesdays, man. Yeah. Mondays and Tuesdays. Dude, if I could get out of my Tuesday obligation, I would happily do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by that, I mean this. Yeah. Uh, would you. In case you weren't yeah, there on that, uh, Scotty, I want to get away from you. Yeah, totally understood. Um, are you going to knock that entire season out in two days? Probably, yeah. Really? I'm, I'm a binger. I'm a binger too, but. That still takes a lot of time. Well, I'm Dedication. better. I'm better than you. Do you like Scotty, watch it on in, half speed? In every way, I binge way better than you. Mm. Well, I don't watch it on half speed. That take twice as long. I mean, I mean, uh, like twice, two times speed. I or mean, whatever. seven episodes. I'll, I'll, yeah, that'll probably take me two days. Okay, because right, I don't right. really do things. Yeah. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of the Lap Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys have done, the growth. Uh, we're, we're getting closer to a quarter of a million followers on TikTok. That's awesome. Um, and we can't thank you guys enough. Keep on doing us a favor, commenting, sharing uh, the TikToks. Uh, that helps us out a lot. Love we'll some non-wedding related questions. Yeah. Right. Um, that would be great. Uh, send those in to at laughing on the sidelines. And as always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get the shit kicked out of you by a quadriplegic. <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah, with wheels, <laughs> <laughs> roll you over. If you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>